And the third part of our philosophy at CAS is how cellular agriculture will bring vast benefits for the world, but more so how it will bring benefits over the traditional system that we have now of animal agriculture. And so a good example for this is to think about our smartphones for a moment. The battery within your smartphone has to power various components of the phone, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, the cellular, etc. But if we're looking for one part of the phone, let's say the flashlight, for example, in a scenario, that you need to be powered for the longest it could last, it wouldn't make sense to use a smartphone, but rather use a device that will power that exact component that you need. And so the same analogy can be thought of when it comes to animal agriculture. Right now, we're using a ton of environmental resources to products that aren't needed in the same capacity as others, similar to the flashlight scenario. Right? And so while there are markets for animal or for cow bladder and kidney, the, heart, the largest capacity, the largest market, is present for meat and leather, for example. So that's what we should be focusing on when we're producing these products. It's environmentally wasteful to not. So cellular agriculture comes along and produces the same product without wasting environmental resources in the same way, because we're starting from the bottom up. So let's start with water consumption. So to bring a young calf to the point of full-grown adulthood requires a ton of crops. It might seem odd that we're talking about crops thinking about water consumption, but it means that these animals have to eat a lot. And it's all of this food and all of the crops that the animals are consuming that requires the vast amount of water. So it's important to remember that, that the water is actually going into the crops that the animals are consuming. And that's the water footprint from animal agriculture. And if we think about how much water, just as an example, goes into just one pound of beef, we see that it's over 7,000 liters of water is the water footprint of just beef. And it's over 10 years of drinking water to produce just one pound of beef. And so to compare cellular agriculture to traditional animal agriculture, since there is no animal used within cellular agriculture, it would use 98% less water to produce the same product. So this is the prospect that cellular agriculture holds, in this case water, but it really is, is a wide-scale dynamic benefit that it would offer. And we segue quite well to that.